Tutorial 185, in this tutorial we'll talk about the next command, the tooling split, or in other words, creating the mold blocks, the core and cavity. And we'll see how to select the face and see some cases about it. And then after creating the blocks, see how to move them and see the effect of shut off surfaces on the blocks. And then see how we can spread them and save them in separate parts for further editing. Here we have our mobile cover from the previous tutorial where we made the parting surface and we selected this surface to be perpendicular to the direction of pole. So we already know that this surface is perpendicular to the parting line. So now let's try to add a tooling split which in other words are the the mold cubes click on the tooling split and here you have two options to select the plane and or if there is an existed plane or sketch so here we need to select a face there are many ways to select the face the first option we know that this surface is perpendicular to the direction of pole so you can you are able to sketch on it but this is not the case because sometimes this surface as we said can be with an angle if we go to editing the parting surface our option was perpendicular to the pole but in some cases it can has an angle as we see as we talked about in the previous tutorial so there is another way to select the this surface to create the tooling split because we already know that is this face is perpendicular to the parting line and third option which i will choose because when we started to design this mobile cover we added in mind that this face will be matching the top plane and will be the splitting surface or the plane which will separate the mold blocks so I'm going to select the top lane so that so here I will select the top lane and start a sketch normal to and here again when we design we made it that the origin to be in the center of the mobile so here I'm going to select directly a center point rectangle from the center of the mobile and draw a rectangle which represent the mold blocks and here I can add a dimension according to the design so this is an example we can make 150 and 100 click OK and now I can exit from the sketch so we have our existing sketch and go to tooling split and the sketch is selected and here you can specify the block size i'll make it 50 in each direction and here if you would like to add an extra face to interlock surface to be between the blocks but i will uncheck this for now and here we have the shut off surfaces the 22 which we made in the previous tutorial when we talked about the shut off surfaces so all of these surfaces are included in the mold blocks and as you remember we have 22 surfaces the core surfaces if we expand the surface body here we have 22 for the core which are selected over there And the same for the cavity surfaces and for the parting surface which we made in the previous tutorial is also selected so all the so all the surfaces under the surface body are selected and when you are done click OK and here we have the mold blocks, the core and the cavity. We'll just assign some appearance.
Here if you click on the tuning split, you will see the mold blocks are selected at once but the whole file is including three bodies. The core, the cavity and the mobile cover. And if we go to the solid bodies, you will see the bodies over there. And here is the mobile cover and here we have the core and the top is the cavity for now i will suppress this feature and we'll get back to it again suppress but in this case we will try to make a tuning split on a different face and select the sketch directly click on tooling split select this face you'll notice and sketch has been opened click normal to and quickly make the rectangle and as you notice click ok here we created a block but on the wrong face so according to the face which you are going to select solid walls going to create the mold if you try to hide the upper block hide you will still see that the block is laying between the parting surface but this is not the correct positioning of the sketch because if we again show the block you will see there are not equal in size here we have 55 and here the link is 45 and if we go to the feature we have here 50 and 50 so if you select the wrong plane SOLIDWORKS still will pick the parting surface as the splitting between the moles but you will get a wrong positioning of the block so I will suppress or delete this process and show our first block over there and here hide this sketch now let's try to move the blocks move select on the block and you can simply drag click ok and again We move the core and we'll have a look at the mold from inside. So as we remember we picked the shot of surfaces and now you can see that you can see that on the cavity of the mold. So as you remember we picked the shot of surfaces to be in the button side of the cover and here you see here on the cavity over there so we can also hide the parting surface over there so here we have our mold blocks So one last thing in this tutorial, if you would like to save the blocks in the separated files for further editing, for example, making our runners and or fixing holes, click on the solid bodies folder and save bodies in order to save each body in a separated file. You can select the body you need and then save it in, in a separated part file.